Here's a quick overview on FBAR and FATCA regulation. So if you go to the website FBAR.us, you'll be able to get all the information necessary to file FBAR, FATCA, streamlined procedures, OVDP, etc. So looking at FBAR, FBAR stands for Foreign Bank Account Reporting. So who must file an FBAR? United States person, which means US citizens, residents, and entities who have an aggregate value of foreign financial assets exceeding $10,000 at any time during the calendar year should report foreign bank account reporting, which is FBAR, with the Department of Treasury. Now, the filing deadline for this is June 30th for the previous calendar year. And for 2016 calendar year, this is going to be changed to April 15th. So if you were to be filing this for 2016, in 2017, you should be filing it before April 15th. For the current year, which is 2015, you'd be filing that before June 30th. So this is not part of your tax return filing. This has to be filed with the Department of Treasury as a separate filing with the FinCEN Department. Now, let's also look at what FATCA stands for. FATCA, again, you would be reporting your foreign financial assets, but there are uh, these reporting goes as part of your tax return. And the, if the balance exceeds $100,000 for married filing joint, then this requirement is necessary. Likewise, if you're doing individual filing, then the limit is $50,000. We will uh, take a quick look at what the differences are between the 8938, which is the FATCA filing, versus the FBAR filing. So on the website, if you look at under the FBAR, we have a comparison of Form 8938 as well as FBAR. So you'll see who must file, what is the threshold for filing, as I mentioned it's $50,000 at on the last day of the year or $75,000 at any time during the year for an individual and that balances would be $100,000 if you're doing married filing jointly and $150,000 at any time if you're looking at the higher uh, threshold. The $10,000 balance is for FBAR filing at any time during the year. So if you go over um, the comparison here, you will better get a clear understanding of what is reportable on each of those forms. Now the due date for 8938, which is FATCA, is to be filed along with your tax return, and the FBAR is June 30th. Here are the penalties for uh, not filing the 8938 or the FBAR. As you could see, there are some criminal penalties associated to that as well. So it's very critical that you go over this information, get an understanding of your situation, and if you're required to file the FBAR or the FATCA, do contact our office. Now on this uh, website, you also have information as to, so what if you have missed to file in the past? Uh, IRS have two different options here. Uh, one is a streamlined procedure, and the other one is OVDP. So if you're a non-willful um, failure to file, which means you are not aware of it or uh, it was not intentional, then you could use a streamlined procedure and pay a 5% penalty and complete the procedure. So go over the information here if you'd uh, want to get more information on the streamlined procedure as well as OVDP. Now besides these filing, uh, if you own mutual funds, outside US, you would you may be subject to the PFIC um, filing requirement, Passive Foreign Investment Corporation filing requirement. So do get in touch with us if you own mutual funds outside US so that we can advise you appropriately. Likewise, if you have received any gifts from a foreign person, uh, there might be a filing requirement. So do get in touch with our office so that we can advise you accordingly. So to do the FBAR or the FATCA filing on our portal, there's a section where you would be able to download a spreadsheet to input all the information to submit to us so that we can prepare the necessary documents to go ahead and submit to the departments. Now, if you have any questions, do click on contact us, send us a quick uh, note here and we will get in touch with you. Thank you for using Nexus Management Group Services. 